Hi everyone, my name is Nick Koenig. I am a member of the Kentucky Native Plant Society and undergraduate at EKU. Um, we're on Eastern Kentucky University's campus right now in one of our wetland areas, but I'm just gonna show you all how to use iNaturalist, which is a really great app for plant identification. So if you have an Android or iPhone, you can download it, and it also has a desktop function, but it has a white brown background with a green bird on it. You can use it for more than just plants. You can also use it for mushrooms or birds or salamanders any living organism but just a forewarning never use this for like anything you want to eat or consume because any plant could be poisonous without an expert's decision but once you open it it looks like this so first you want to create a profile then you can collect observations it's called so to observe a plant you can either take a picture before when you're in the field or you can use the app itself so you can click the middle function called observe and then what you can do we can come up to this nice purple plant real quick we take our picture like this, and then you press next. After that, iNaturalist asks a few questions. It says the locality, so sometimes if you're using an iPhone or Android, it has the location already synced in. But then it says, what do you see? So this is one of my favorite functions about iNaturalist. It can gives you a guess about what the species is. So this one is the tall ironweed, which is Vernonia gigantea, and it actually tells you is its first top 10 species suggestions. So then you can click this, then you press share. Once you do that, then it goes up into the internet and other people can confirm your identification, which is a really cool tool. Um, one of other function about iNaturalist is you can get involved with other projects around the state or the nation or the world also. So the Kentucky Native Plant Society specifically has the botanist big year. So if you go to the more, press projects, then you can see what projects that you're in. So if you wanna to go to the bot Kentucky Botanist Big Year 2020, you can then see the observations of plants in the state. And the Kentucky Native Plant Society has a really awesome initiative this year. So if you observe the most or you ID the most plants, then you'll get a Kentucky Native Plant Society coffee mug. So I hope you all consider downloading the app. It's a really useful tool. And also people in research can use it. So with you doing this, you're being a citizen scientist, which is an awesome opportunity for everyone. Um, hope you have a fun time botanizing. Thank you.